when I started YouTube, I was kind of nervous that I wasn't going to have enough ideas to make videos on, but that quickly changed and I've, I seriously have a whole list of videos that I want to get through. This is honestly one of the easiest videos compared to some of the ones that I've edited since that home goods road trip. So I don't know why I've been putting it off, but I just have so many ideas and so many things that I want to share on my channel. So um, yeah, sorry again about the delay, but if you guys have any questions about these products, just leave that in the comments below. So let's just get started. So the first thing I'll show you guys are these gloves that I grabbed. The brand is Steve Madden. I got a pair of these blue and red ones and the same ones but in the black and green. These were $7 I think, they were really cheap and I thought that they were really, really cute. The next thing I'll show you guys that I grabbed, um, it's already about halfway gone. First off, I just love the outside and it just looks festive in itself, but it also smells, the name is Silver Spruce. This brand is DW Home and the spruce is just the scent. Um, it smells like a Christmas tree. And the price tag is still on it. This was $7.99. So it's really, really cute even when it's not burning. I like the wood top there. You see that? The next thing is this scarf. Just kidding. This table runner. It's seriously so soft. I really liked how simple yet cute it is and how soft. It's really good quality. Um, this was $14.99 and I'll probably leave it up even after Christmas on the table just because it's it's cute. It's really just goes good for all of winter not just for Christmas. The next thing is, these are actually pretty in right now. It's just like the, what are they called? The, a coiled rope uh, basket, really thick, really durable. Um, but anyways, what I was saying is, I see these all the time lately. They've become pretty popular, but I don't ever find them in white. If anything, it'll be like an off-white. So this was a really cool find. It was kind of pricey. I think this was $19.99, which I guess, you know, it's not cheap. It's not as cheap as some of the other ones that I saw there, but it's pretty decent size. And the brand is Artisan Deluxe. I'll show you that. And I just keep it up on top of the dryer in the laundry room. The laundry room is downstairs by the kitchen and all of the laundry baskets are upstairs. So I just leave this there mainly for um, kitchen towels and socks and that sort of thing. Just so you don't have to go all the way upstairs and it still gets put in a basket to get washed. So this basket I also found for $14.99. And it's by, I don't know if this is the brand. It says just Indonesia. Or, oh no, I don't think that's the brand because it says handcrafted in Indonesia. So that's where it was made. I don't know exactly the brand of it. But I thought this little tassel on the one side was super cute. And this one is pretty decent size. Um, it's that rough material though. And I use this um, as a plant holder. I currently have it upstairs in our bedroom. Uh, I just have a tall plant already in a pot, a regular just ceramic pot, but then I put the pot and the plant inside of here. Um, it just adds a really cute touch. And so another thing I found are actually what's hanging up behind me. We, not really sure if we've ever bought stockings for each other. My fiance and I, we've been together now five years and I just last year 
finally organized and have a designated box just for all Christmas stuff. Um, there wasn't stockings. There weren't stockings in there. So anyways, um, I found these at the Marshalls slash Home Goods, and both of them were $9.99. No, $12.99. Um, super cute, handmade, hand stitched, and the lining inside is really nice. This brand is called Arctic Holiday. I love the little hearts there, and it's got a little cute pocket with some bells. And then this one, I don't really know. I mean, this one, I guess, is more girly than this one, kind of. But I just bought them because they look cute together, and I have them hanging up on the staircase. I don't know which one's going to be mine, technically, and which, ones will be, which one will be Seneca's. But uh, anyways, this one is also that, like, hand-stitched material. It reminds me of, like, those really comfy hand-stitched gloves that you see. I just really like the prints on them. And this one is a little bit, hangs a little bit longer, a little bit bigger than that one. And I don't know, oh yeah. The brand for this one is Well Dressed Home. So those were really, really cute, I thought. And this is sparkly Let it snow. wreath that birch, but it's spray painted gray um, and I liked how it had a hook not all of them have that so it sits on the door pretty nice um, this was $24.99 if I remember correctly I don't know why wrists are so pricey I don't know if it's just this time of year like I don't know if I were to try to buy this in the off season if the prices would be cheaper they probably would be but this time of year, all this holiday wreaths, even in um, markdown stores like Home Goods and TJ Maxx, still almost 30 bucks. But I like it. I like it a lot. Um, in the past, I've made uh, I've DIY'd wreaths for the door, but I really liked this one. And I'm kind of picky about my wreaths. So. Oh, wait. Before I show that, I might as well show you. I might as well show you the doormat. We're outside. It's just a really thin rubber doormat. And I got that for $9.99. That looks really nice against the snow when it falls. Um, okay, so next thing, if you guys watched my Thanksgiving vlog, you will have seen this coat in my outfit of the day. I am obsessed with this coat and it was $40 from Marshalls. The brand is Modata. Mondata? I don't know. It's really thick, nice quality and yeah, I mean I talked about it and I had it and if you want to see what it looks like on, go check out that video, but it zips up and then it almost doubles as a scarf how high up it comes and how you can fold it over. So I liked that about it. The next thing I will show you that I kept just so that I could include it in this haul, but these will probably end up being tossed. I already tried to sew them back once and Edison just keeps ripping into the sides and he's chewed up this one quite a bit. I don't know if it's really repairable, but I got these in a pack, they're just throw pillows, and it was two for $16. That's really cheap for throw pillows, $8 a piece. And they're super, super soft, and they're white. Um, it's not like a cream color, it's pure white. So, it kind of sucks that I won't be able to leave them out on the couch anymore because of him, but I mean, I guess he's worth more than these pillows so I think I'll toss these and keep him <laughs> but um, he took most of the stuffing out already so they were the same size and now this one is like a deflated version of it so the last thing that I got at 
that was kind of, or no, not the last thing. There is another thing that I have in the dryer right now. I wanted to be able to show that in this video, so I dug it up and it was in the laundry. And um, yeah, so as soon as that's done, I'll show you guys that. But this other piece that I got, you guys probably just saw in my last video. This beautiful thing. I love it. I love it so much. So, so much. So pretty. So go check out that video if you want to see where I ended up putting this. The last piece for this haul that I just had to go grab out of the dryer, they're actually still a little damp, are the set of hand towels that I got. And they're just really pretty. They're like a goldish brown, white, and gray. And then I just thought they were really pretty for the holidays. <laughs> Quick tip for you guys. I've been doing this for a while now. I've noticed that kitchen towels are drastically cheaper, um, like 40 or 50 percent less than a bath towel. I don't know why. I actually feel like most kitchen towels are prettier and just as good quality, but um, for some reason, just because they're in different parts of the store, the bath aisle towels, um, they charge that price. And then if you go over to the kitchen towels. So anyways, um, I always go off on a tangent. So anyways, I've been doing this for a while now. I know this print in particular, I wouldn't buy for my bathroom. I would use these in the kitchen. But uh, most of the kitchen towels you can get in solid prints, you know, whites or grays or whatever you use in your bathroom. And you get, just, you could get way more to be able to use. And so, so yeah. Um, I mean, there's no different, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. Nobody's going to be in your bathroom using your hand towel and be like, this is a kitchen towel, this isn't a bath towel. I mean, some of them look different, but uh, you can get ones that are made out of that soft material that bath towels are. So anyways, all right, enough about towels. If you made it to the end of this video, I don't know what it's gonna end up being cut down to be, but I literally have been rambling now for 24 minutes. <laughs> um, so if you made it to the end of this lengthy video, um, comment down below. Comment down below your favorite Christmas song, and I'll include mine in the description. I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey, guys. So otherwise, let's just get right into this. Uh, this video I feel like has been long overdue. It actually took me a little while to make sure that I grabbed everything. No. All right. So the next, the next thing that I, let me just, um, what is the word I'm trying to think of? So I.